coming up on Current OC. Today, we take a look at how a huge part of all of our childhood is about to come to an abrupt end. Plus, we'll show you what summer movies should be part of your vacation agenda. These stories and more, it all starts now on The Current OC. TV studios along 6th and Atlantic. Raider Nation's leading news magazine starts now in high definition. This is Current OC. Hello and welcome to the Current OC. I am Stella Schwartz. And I am Jackson Neal. Well, park testing is finally over and all of our lives are somewhat back to normal. Thanks to everyone for making a difficult educational time not so bad. A special thanks to our technology department for keeping us running smoothly. Moving on to our first story. For over 20 years, students across the nation have gathered to share a passion for gaming. We're talking about the fantasy card game Magic the Gathering. Kayla Killian reports on OCHS's unofficial club that allows students to play the strategic card game. Are you busy on days one and four? You're not? Then why aren't you at Magic Club in room B213? And I'll play Yose the Morning Star. Although this club may not be what you think. Magic the Gathering is a collectible card game in which you have a special deck filled with cards you use to defeat your opponent. You cast spells and summon creatures to secure your victory. Plus, Magic the Gathering was created back in the early 90s, which of course makes it totally rad. At Magic Club, you'll be able to join a fun, all-inclusive environment that supports friendly competition and creativity. If you don't know how to play, you can always come on down and they would be more than happy to teach you. If you have an interest in this fun game, come to Magic Club on days one and four. This has been Kayla Killian reporting for the Current OC. Many of us have fond childhood memories of our parents taking us to our favorite toy store, Toys R Us. Here, we browse the aisles looking for the perfect toy. It was special because we could actually touch the toys. This was all long before Amazon or digital phone games came along. Well, online shopping and changing trends have finally claimed another victim. Sadly, Toys R Us is closing its doors forever. On Wednesday, March 15th, Toys R Us Incorporated announced bankruptcy. Although the causes are not yet known, Consumers can assume that the reasons have to do with marketing complications and competitions with other larger companies such as Amazon and Walmart. This news is heartbreaking to millions of people across America that have grown up shopping there with their parents as children. Caroli Lopez Castro, a bankruptcy lawyer, says, I don't think people will miss Toys R Us, because everything you can get at Toys R Us, you can get online. It's sad, but it's true. In this day and age, it's easier to go online and order something instead of running out to the store. This leads to stores like Toys R Us to become abandoned by consumers. It's time to put away childish things and become a man. And if the popular trend of online shopping continues, Toys R Us won't be the last company we say goodbye to. This has been Nathan Gowdy reporting for The Curtain OC. It may only be April, but this week marks the beginning of the summer movie season with the release of Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. 
From now until Labor Day, Hollywood will release over 100 films. So, what ones deserve your hard-earned cash? No worries, Lucas Rooney has you covered and has a preview of the best summer movies coming your way soon. Ah, summer. No school, hot weather, the beach, and of course, movies. The summer blockbuster season is right around the corner, and with it, a slew of Hollywood films that are bound to gain success at the box office. Today, we'll give you a preview of those movies and the hype behind them. First up, we have my most anticipated movie for the year, Avengers Infinity War. Ten decades of Marvel Cinematic Universe films have led to this very moment where the Avengers meet the Guardians of the Galaxy in order to stop the universe's biggest threat, Thanos. Infinity War is sure to please fans and moviegoers when it drops into theaters this week. The second big budget film kicking off the summer blockbuster season is none other than Deadpool 2. Following the success of the first film, 20th Century Fox and Marvel bring back the R-rated Merc with a Mouth and set him against one of his most notable characters from the comics, Cable. Make sure to see Deadpool 2 when it hits theaters May 18th. In line with Disney's plan, Solo A Star Wars Story is the second of anthology films being released between each episodic one following 2016's Rogue One. Solo follows a young Han before his run-in with the Skywalker lineage as he meets his lifelong friend Chewbacca and Lando Calrissian. You can catch Solo A Star Wars Story in theaters on May 25th. After 14 years, we finally get a sequel to The Incredibles. Disney Pixar's Incredibles 2 picks up right where the first movie ended. But as seen from the trailer, Elastigirl springs into action to save the day, while Mr. Incredible faces his greatest challenge yet, taking care of the problems of his three children. If you want to revisit the characters you knew and loved in 2004, head out and see Incredibles 2 in theaters on June 15th. Universal Pictures is back with the fifth installment to the Jurassic Park franchise, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. After the first Jurassic World became the fourth most grossing movie of all time, audiences can get excited to see Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard running from dinosaurs once again. The release date for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is June 22nd. Didn't think Disney was making enough money at the box office this summer? The final film on our summer movie preview is Ant-Man and the Wasp. But don't be confused, while it's being released after the new Avengers movie, the events in this film actually take place prior to Infinity War. Get ready to see Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly kick some butt when Ant-Man and the Wasp hits theaters on July 6, 2018. No matter which blockbuster you're hyped for, the summer of 2018 will surely be epic. And one last thing, Avengers, assemble. Dr. Jamison was named the 2018 Visionary Leader of the Year, Secondary Level Principal, and the National Association of Secondary School Principals Principal of the Year for New Jersey. Dr. Jamison very much appreciates the recognition, but he's the first to point out that while OCHS seems like a typical high school, it is not. He states, quote, I'm extremely, extremely fortunate to work in a school environment committed to excellence with a board and administration dedicated to high standards, involved parents, and a high quality teaching and student population. That is beyond awesome. This award is reflective of our school community. Congrats to him and all of us here at the Kern SE. Well, April is winding down, and let's face it, the weather wasn't exactly spring-like. So, Kayla, what does the weather have in store for us this weekend? Yes, please tell us the cold mornings are coming to an end. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you take a look at our current radar, you'll see that we have a bunch of precipitation looming over our area, so it might not be a good idea to head outside today. It is pushing this way, though, so not for long. On to our area temperatures. We are in the 50s all across the southern New Jersey, 56 in Wildwood, 59 in Millville, 59 in Philadelphia, 59 in Trenton, and 57 in Lakehurst. These temperatures are pretty chilly, but we will be expecting us to be warming up in the coming months. On to our local condition. We are 60 here in Ocean City with a humidity of 100%. So you might want to be prepared to go swimming when you step outside. Also, our wind speeds are 15. It's not too bad, but something to keep in mind when you head outside. On to our weekly forecast. We are seeing scattered showers all throughout the week 
with sun on today, but also showers, and sun on Thursday. If you take a look at our current or our temperatures, we, we will be all across the 40s and 50s onto the rest of the week. We won't be seeing as much clouds, but we will be seeing more sun, so keep that in mind when you plan your weekly activities. If you or others you know are interested in seeing what the current conditions are outside Ocean City High School, you can log on to our website at oc-tv.org slash current weather to see the latest conditions in real time. Kayla, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Well, that will do it for us on this edition of The Current OC. Don't forget that Thursday night, the 26th, is our annual media festival. Come out and support our program by rooting for your favorite news segments as they compete for trophies in each of our competitive broadcast packages. Tickets are on sale at lunch for $5 or $7 at the door. The event will be located at our OCHS auditorium and will begin at 7 p.m. sharp, so don't be late. Concessions will also be available for only a dollar each. Hope to see you there. Remember to log on and catch all of our shows and additional content by visiting oc-tv.org. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at OCNJTV, so be sure to like our page and follow us there too. We leave you now with footage from last Friday's welcome dance for the intermediate students. The dance was designed to allow them to become familiar with the high school. And as always, thanks for watching.